going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i want to discuss what i believe the character of trish jenner has been up for the past 23 years since her previous encounter with the creeper now the image that you see on screen is from the ending of jeepers creepers 3 everyone who saw that movie in theaters whether you saw it on sci-fi network or whether you saw it when you bought it when it went straight to dvd you know that at the end of the third film it jumps 23 years ahead and we have a cameo from gina phillips who reprises her role as trish jenner what appeared she appears to be uh making a public service announcement of sorts i don't know where she plans on posting this at i'm assuming it's going up on some sort of social media platform but i wanted to kind of discuss what that ending tells me she's been up to for the past 23 years um i believe the character of trish has been obsessing over the creeper ever since she uh lost her brother Derry to it all those years ago i believe she never she kind of probably blames herself a bit she probably still regrets not letting the creeper take her or feeling helpless as she couldn't do anything to save her brother and her talking into a microphone kind of like what i'm doing right now and looks like she's giving some sort of a public service announcement i believe she is or she has been rallying anyone in the area where she's at i'm assuming she's still near the poho county area or she is out of this out of that area and she's just now planning to go back to get vengeance on this thing that took her brother all those years ago because she is aware of the fact that it's about to reawaken and she knows that it's in the barn of a local farmer in the area so maybe she doesn't live in the area anymore but she's still keeping tabs on this monster that's been consuming her life and she kind of suffers from a little bit of ptsd probably as well since she's obsessing over something that occurred 23 years ago and it apparently it clearly affected her traumatically uh but i think she's been rallying and building support and bringing awareness to the existence of this thing maybe she has people who doubt her think she's crazy uh i could see her playing like a, a similar role to what jamie lee curtis played in halloween 2018 but not as on the not as loony as i would say Lori strode was um i think trish would appear much more sane because that's how she appeared at the end of the third film of course they can go that route and have her be a bit unhinged as a result of what happened and her wanting to keep everyone around her safe so that nothing else happens to her family as a result of this entity that she still has no idea what it is it just took her brother and it was just gone and she felt completely helpless helpless in that situation just watching her brother get taken like that um that ending still to this day the ending of the first film always makes me feel a little bit upset and a little bit sad for the character of trish because it's like that's just something that i wouldn't want to go through myself and of course that's something that you wouldn't think you would have to see walking the face of this earth that's just something crazy to imagine happening some something that is just terrorizing you and your brother for seemingly no reason in your perspective and then you have no way of stopping this thing and then you and then you end up losing a sibling to this thing and you're helpless as to do anything against it so i always feel a little bit sad for the character of trish but for the past 23 years i think she's been rallying a little bit of a movement against the creeper she's been bringing awareness to his existence uh maybe she stayed in polo county and she has been keeping or tracking down anyone who might know what she's talking about anyone who's gone through anything similar maybe she's gotten in contact with the parents of kenny brandon maybe darla maybe darla's family were contacted and she told them what happened to darla she brought them on and maybe she's gotten them on her side and now she's going to take them she's going to take probably sergeant tubbs a few other people who may have encountered this thing or think they know what she's talking about or who have seen this thing in the barn and recognized it because they lost someone to it several years ago or they know of someone who lost someone to it many years ago I think she's rallying she's getting a community together and they're going to team up and they're going to take this thing out once and for all she is the essentially the lady who cried wolf but instead of people denying her she has several people who believe in her because they know what she's talking about because this thing has been terrorizing this highway east nine or whatever the hell it is been terrorizing this highway and the counties that ride along or exist alongside that east nine highway it's been terrorizing this this community for several decades um and they're tired of it and they're going to take a stand against 
the creeper once and for all and i think that's what the character of trish jenner has been up to i'm looking forward to see what actually happens if the fourth film does get made gina phillips did state in an interview that victor salva already wrote what happened with trish in between the second film and what's going to happen in the fourth film that's already written so if we ever get to see that, that's completely left up to Victor Salva at this point. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this. What do you think the character of Trish has been up to? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.